The national uh, average buyer uh, across the U.S. and Wisconsin as well is a, a middle-aged white male who's college educated, married, and has children. Those survivors, those victims of trafficking were saying like, you know, their type of buyers, their clients, if you will, were, were people who, who had money. Uh, they, they were able to buy those services. And some of those services aren't always sex. It could look like escort. It could look like, um, you know, having a girlfriend for an event or different things like that. So it's not, the exploitation isn't always just sexual. There's other types of exploitation in that. The average person who's coming out of the life, they have a level of trauma and PTSD. So they've done brain scans to study what their brains look like. That level of trauma and PTSD in their brain mirrors somebody or is greater than somebody who has been in active combat in war. So their, their psychological trauma and how they view the world has drastically changed from somebody who um, has not gone through a trafficking situation. So, and again, um, that, that misbalance in their brain could look like they've developed an eating disorder or an addiction. Um, that could also look like mental health, like schizophrenia or paranoia, um, but it all comes back to how their brain reacts to trauma. And that is, they go through a significant amount of trauma. Oh.